Welcome to another daily episode of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time, we'll take a quick look at a demo of the value driver tree. So let's assume we have two people. On the left-hand side, our HR person responsible for hiring, Elvira, and on the right-hand side, Umberto, who is our operations manager. So Umberto noticed the problem as part of the hauling which is a very critical part of our operations. And we're running a mining company. So Umberto noticed that in the last 12 months, we actually have a lot of delays in the operation based on truck drivers not being available. So simply we have the equipment standing there without a driver. The problem is that HR actually has been advised to reduce the labor cost. So we can't just hire additional truck drivers. So Umberto has one tool, which is a value driver tree. So he can actually show Elvira that hiring more drivers makes sense because it is profitable. So let's take a look at the value driver tree. As you can see here, we have a value driver tree that is focused on the hauling part. So we have things like operation hours, how many trucks we have, availability, and we also have things like how many tons that we haul, what's the cycle time. And in our case, the hours for no operators. So our problem. So let's start first of all by switching into the plan data. And then we can start making the necessary changes. So the first change we're going to make is we assume that the number of hours where we have no operators could be reduced down to zero. So as soon as we do that, we can see the impact. The use of availability goes down, the delay hours going down, our operating hours going up, which then results in more tons being hauled. But we don't know if there's any cost associated with it. We don't know if this means more labor cost, more kind of like operating cost, because the value driver tree only looks at the pure hauling part. So now let's switch to a slightly larger value driver tree. Here's a value driver tree that also considers the mining cost, things like fuel cost, labor cost. We can see our revenue. We can see kind of like how much copper we are selling. We can also see our tons hauled being part of this bigger picture now. On top, we can also see a set of key KPIs, the profit, the revenue, mining, labor cost, and the profit in percent. So those will automatically show what the impact is as soon as we start making the necessary changes. So like before, we're gonna switch over into the plan data, and then we're gonna start making the necessary adjustments. So the first adjustment we will make is like before, we assume that we can reduce the number of hours where we have no operator pretty much down to zero. So we will make the necessary change and we can see right away the impact the operating hours going up, the tons hold going up, our revenue going up, and also our costs going up because we have higher fuel costs. On the top, we can actually see that our revenue went up by a third, our mining cost by 15%, and our profit went up by 6%, which is all good. So 
we're trying to make a second change and let's see what would happen if we hire actually more truck drivers. So we're not only solving the problem, but we're putting more trucks, so to speak, on the ground and we need to hire more truck drivers. So we're going to take a look at that second change as well. So we navigate to the part of the value driver tray. And as you can see, we have 15 trucks right now operating. So what would the impact be if actually we go to 20 trucks? So we're going to make the necessary change. And as before, our operating hours will go up. The tons hauled will go up. But this time also, the labor cost goes up, which we can already identify at the top. So we have basically a third more in labor cost. Our fuel goes go up and also our overall mining cost. But at the end, even though we hired more people, we're still a profitable business. So in our case, using the value driver tree, Alvira now has enough background information and enough numbers to go back to the business and actually get the budget approved to hire more truck drivers, which then would increase our hauling productions. I hope this quick demonstration showed how a value driver tree can help you as part of your business. And I want to say thank you for watching and listening.